Hey, welcome back to my channel. Jesse Nyberg here. Today we're going to be learning how to use the Pathfinder tool in Adobe Illustrator. The Pathfinder tool is a really powerful tool for all types of vector artwork and it gave me trouble when I first started out designing, but once you learn how to use it, it's immensely helpful. And um, if, this, if you enjoy this video and it helps you at all, make sure to subscribe. It helps out the channel. That being said, let's get into it. So we're going to start by opening up Adobe Illustrator and to make it easy, we're going to use just different shapes to demonstrate how the Pathfinder tool works. So here's my Pathfinder tool and here's my swatches panel. If you don't see that right there, if you're in a different workspace or anything like that, go ahead and go to window, Pathfinder, window, Pathfinder, and you'll see it right here. So these are the different Pathfinder uh, modes, the shape modes, and then the divide are probably the five you'll use the most. These ones are more extra, but I'll show, them, show you how they work anyway. So we have unite, minus front, intersect, exclude, and divide for our main, um, our main five. So what we're gonna do is come over to your ellipse tool, grab that, hold shift and click and drag to create a circle. And then we're gonna hold Alt and Shift and drag that over to make a copy of it. And now let's make this one green and this one blue. All right, so how this works is basically the Pathfinder does different things when shapes intersect. So for first off, see the green ones on top? So you wanna highlight both and click Unite. And since the green one was on top, it took the dominance in terms of color and it united the shapes. So if you click Control Y, you can see it's actually just one shape now. Whereas uh, if we undo Control Z, you'll see before it was intersecting right there. All right, next up we have minus front. So that is exa does exactly what it sounds like. It deletes the front from over the shape. So let's say we move this right there. And we're going to grab, hold and grab, get both right there, and we do minus front. So see, it cut out that shape, and this is really good if you want to create like any type of moon shapes or different effects. See, we can do it with different shapes and squares and everything too. So let's say you want to cut something out. You can even do it with um, typography. So if you want to come and write like high, let's make that bigger. And you have to expand this into a shape, object, expand. And then you can go minus front. And that actually cut it out. You can see it's transparent right there. All right. Let's get our new uh, circles created. All right, and this one is intersect. So what this does is where the overlap is right here. You can see it's almost like a Venn diagram where it's overlapped. And we can do this with different shapes. I'll show you how it would work with a square. So you can see the spots that it's intersecting right about there. If we grab all of them and push intersect, it's gonna keep that little area. So this is good for showing stuff like within a shape and taking the other shape and keeping it confined to that space and taking the intersect. So it's a really cool way to like create different effects. So if we bring it like that, intersect, we have a cool like half circle thing with a sharp edge. All right, let's undo. All right, and the next one we're gonna show is exclude. So it's kind of similar to the last one, but it's gonna take out that intersect. So you can see right there, let's grab another circle and let's do something like that see so we have this big shape now and we took that out of it so you can see the part that was there was cut out but we still have the remainder right here all right so that's the basic four and those are the ones that you'll probably use the most if you're creating anything vector let's get our circles out again switch these back how we had it before all right and so this one's divide. This is probably like the most powerful out of all of them because you can kind of do what you did with the other ones with this one. So this one, you, we'll grab a bunch of different shapes. So let's say we have something like that. Hold Alt and squeeze it in to do it without constraining proportions. We have a pink there. And let's say we have a, some kind of rectangle coming over the top like 
something like that. So you see we have all these different shapes and they're all intersecting right here. So when you do the divide, it's gonna separate each spot that's intersecting. So you'll highlight them all and then you'll click divide. And now what you need to do is ungroup everything. So object ungroup. And you can see all the different pieces are gonna be able to break apart. So you can already see that you'll be able to create some pretty cool stuff by cutting things out of other shapes. And this is one I use the most for creating like negative space logos or cutting out um, different areas of like filling in on a stroke and you wanna come out the edge but then cut off the outside. I usually use the divide tool. All right, and that's gonna be your go-to tool for like a lot of stuff. So the next one I wanna show you is trim. So we have our two circles. And the, how this one works is you highlight both and you're going to select trim and you can see it merged them together, but it kept the little circle right there so we can ungroup it and they're together, but it only took off the top part. So it's kind of like a minus front, except it kept them merged together like that rather than deleting the back piece. All right, let's get two more new circles. All right, and this next one we're going to do is called Merge. So Merge is similar to Unite, but you can do it with um, two different colors. So see this merge these two together, but it didn't make that, it didn't create one shape. It still kept that separate shape right there. So if you wanted to ungroup it, you still can. And it cut that piece out right there. So, so some of these ones down here, merge, trim, they're not as useful as some of the shape mode ones, but they're still good to know how they work. So we have crop now too. Let's grab this, put this over, and we would go here, crop. So see crop took that piece out right there, but you still have this one left over as where, whereas um, uh, intersect just kept that piece and deleted everything. So, and then the last one uh, is, or the second to last one is gonna be outline. This one's pretty simple. It's like how it sounds. It gets shapes and creates the outline out of them. So let's say we have three different shapes like this. We go and we click outline. So it made them into outlines and now they're strokes. So we can ungroup and it actually does it off all the different parts. So it kind of divides it and makes it into a stroke. So see now it's a stroke so we can mess with it like that. And you can create some cool like knot effects like that, but you can also just get a stroked circle and overlay it like that. So that one isn't super useful, but it's nice to know how some things work. And this last one's minus back, and that's similar to minus front. I've always wondered why they don't have it on the shape modes area, but it's just like minus front, and it sounds exactly like it what it would do. So we have this here. Here's the back. Select them both minus back. So you basically just use the back piece to cut out the whatever's in the front. And minus front's a lot more easy to use. So if we go here and bring that blue to the front, because you can see what part you're gonna cut out and it's a lot easier to visualize what's gonna happen. So like this, for example. So I usually use those ones more. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Pathfinder tool. If this video was helpful to you at all and you enjoyed it, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video.